Hi, Peggy Mariner with Cloverleaf. Today I'm going to talk to you about DISC. Those are work styles that you can see in your own behaviors and motivations, and then they're pretty observable in motivations, behaviors, actions that people take around you as well. It's one of the easiest assessments to understand on the Cloverleaf dashboard because there's only four parts to it and each of the letters of D, I, S, and C stand for an attribute that also describes what each of those quadrants is motivated by and is interested in uh, pursuing. So D is the dominance, and that is uh, pretty commanding, pioneering. They are interested in winning. What's the finish line? They see power and authority as something positive, so it's, they are attracted to it. Holding and possessing power and authority is a favorable experience for them. They prefer to be in control because being out of control or vulnerable, uh, they see that as weakness and that is really concerning to them. So sometimes in pursuit of those finish lines and those destinations, they can get really caught up in the tasks and the activities and there is a risk that they overlook people or the impact of their actions either on the project or on their team because they're so excited to get work done and to hit a finish line. Now the I in DISC stands for influence. Those folks are highly attracted to people. They do see change as positive. They are interested and energized by connecting with others. They love social recognition and group activities. Uh, a high value for them is who they're going to be working with, not necessarily what they need to accomplish or uh, what the specific task is. It's going to be interest in fun and um, what kind of opportunities there are. They love variety and change. They're pretty charming, pretty social. They use a lot of their personal and relational equity to rally troops. They build enthusiasm with their persona and charisma, and they can create movement and momentum among others with that energy that they they have internal, they express externally, and they get others buy-in for a goal that they might be pursuing. Sometimes they get so excited about what's going on, they can lose track of the destination. They also, in uh, joy for variety, they could become distracted and can be impulsive sometimes too. Also, they might be so highly energized by what's going on, they can become disorganized. So having somebody who is checking the boxes in partnership with them helps to use that energy and that passion and enthusiasm in the right direction. The third letter, S, is for steadiness. Those folks are really inclusive. They are anti-chaos agents inside of a team. They love to take care of the team. They have a high value on the team. They want the team to be harmonious and connected. They really love stability and seek to create that for other people. They're very sincere. They probably have candies on their desk, keep the door open, they've got a listening ear, and they are really supportive to a positive, engaging, warm, inviting team culture and to make sure that the team is cared for as well. So they really do not like change because it will be disruptive and it might have a negative effect on the team. They don't like conflict. They're not going to initiate that conflict even at the cost to themselves so one thing you want to watch out for is to make sure that you're hearing the voices of those that are really strong in steadiness you're asking their opinion they're you're offering them stability if you are going to be changing things you're giving them tons of notice because they are really patient they're they are big team players and they will sacrifice or or take a negative outcome for themselves if they see it as more valuable to the team one of the ways that you can use them on your team is by having them welcome newcomers to the team or create lunches for everybody. They are really interested in accommodating everyone, making sure everyone is heard and making sure everyone's connected. They are great teammates to have. C's 
conscientious. Those are highly detailed folks. They are motivated to get things right. They're amazing accountants, contract law. They are paying attention to the details and that standards are being adhered to. So they're going to be deliberate. They're pretty focused. They have uh, strong opinions about what good is and they will hold your standards inside your team. They love to share their expertise. They usually have a depth of knowledge on things that they are good at and that they're asked to do. One thing they do not appreciate is uh, last minute time changes because they wanna make sure they have enough room to get their work done really well. They have a high value on excellence and they want to make sure they're able to execute with that excellence. And last minute changes and rushes to their schedule can be really stressful for them and they might push back on those too. They also wanna get feedback pretty regularly that the work they're doing is correct and it is done well. So they do have an opportunity to tell themselves, hey, that I am doing a good job and they don't need to wait for that approval necessarily. So they can even uh, practice taking risks in what they have known for having had it always done a certain way. They can take a risk and try something new if they see an opportunity for efficiency or they think there could be an additional benefit to the team or to a process or to a task. They are really sensitive to criticism. So if you are giving that to them, make sure that you have affirmed what they are doing well and be clear, do not beat around the bush. Say it with as much kindness as you can offer. They are often extremely critical of themselves. They really have a concern about getting things right. So if they are wrong, addressing that in private is the best way to be communicating with a C. You can usually trust them for excellent analysis. They're very precise. They will make sure all of the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. They love to work independently. So getting them to plug into team activity, just give them notice, tell them what the expectations are in terms of engagement because they are happy to work independently to get their job done really well. They don't need a lot of the activity that an I would want with excitement and collaboration. They actually don't require that. If you require it from them, make sure that you have space in their work schedule that they can also work independently because it will probably be higher effectiveness if they get to work independently. Either a private office or working from home or when the door is shut they can go without interruption, for example.